This candlelit altar, placed in front of the St. John's College compound, serves as a grim and sad reminder that 15-year-old Dwayne Gabriel's life was cut short. On Saturday, Gabriel was fatally shot by a senseless gunman as he went to buy a pack of bread for his mother. The SJC third firm student, by all accounts, was a promising young man with a bright future, who unfortunately lost his life to the vicious cycle of gun violence that SJC's principal, Fidel Paul, says must come to an immediate end. First and foremost, we want to express our deepest sympathies to the family of Dwayne Gabriel. Um, we are, as a school, we are deeply saddened about the situation. And then um, we want to also state that we condemn any form of violence that affects our teenagers. Um, these acts definitely run contrary to the values that we aspire as a country, right? Duane was an, was an exceptional student. He was dedicated, disciplined in, in his studies, um, was very mannerly. He was in, um, in third form studying business and he was really exemplary. So for us to try to assimilate the situation is it's really difficult. Gabriel loved to play basketball in front of his yard and the 6'2 gentle giant had dreams of one day playing in the NBA. Counselor Diana Kenya, who herself has been affected by gun violence, today placed two basketballs in front of Duane's altar as a symbol of his dream. The reason why I placed the basketballs and a football was to represent the three athlete angels that we now have. You know, we lost this young man recently, Mr. Gabriel. Now, um, I'm also reminiscing and remembering the lives that we lost, you know, a couple months ago as well, Laddie and Michael as well. And it really and truly hurts me as a youth to see these, these young men just fall victims to gun violence. As, as a counselor, it's never something easy to witness. I remember a couple of them talking to them on the campaign trail and just seeing them dying. It really hurts. Kirkland Smith, an art teacher at SJC, says that during the two years he taught Duane, the erudite teen became a son to him. As a student of mine, he was also my son. And Duane has been very mannerly. He was humble. He worked hard. He always grabbed at the opportunity to do well and to be helpful. He was always helpful. He didn't shy away from doing extracurricular activities. And while the students and teachers will be mourning for some time, according to Principal Paul, the school is currently providing counseling to the friends and teachers that felt the loss of the studious teen. As a school, we are... Um we are providing the necessary framework for everyone, for the students. We are doing the small group counseling sessions with them, with, um, with the teachers as well. We are having other events to commemorate his, his life throughout the week. We placed an altar uh, there and we are asking our students and the larger um, community to come and bring whatever reminds them of doing. Or it can be a, a candle, a flower. The altar will be there throughout the week and we are, go we are asking them to bring whatever item um, they, that reminds them of Duane and then, um, you know, say a prayer for Duane and for everyone else who has been victim of, of violence. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.